rapid fire question game, Tim. Oh, I love rapid fire. All right, settle down over there. <laughs> it's called If You Only Knew. The first car. A uh, red Ford Maverick, 1972. Something or someone who inspires you. <laughs> One uh, big influence that changed my life was uh, David Byrne and Talking Heads. Oh. I saw uh, Stop Making Sense when I was in college, and it was, I, I saw it a couple of times, and I was a big fan, and at one point, I thought, after seeing the movie, at one point, those guys decided either we're gonna become art students or we're gonna be musicians. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought, you gotta make that choice one day. You gotta, the fork in the road is here, and I decided, like, after I saw that movie, to move to Chicago. Wow. That was the thing that did it. So David Byrne talking head. Best, com best com uh, concert film I've ever seen. Amazing concert film. Strangest fan encounter. Uh, so come up and start just start treating you like you're one of your characters. That's what usually oh, happens. Man. No, I, I almost punched a guy one time in New York for what being was? too handsy. Oh, yeah? I didn't like it. And he was, he was upset at me for being upset because he was telling me what a big fan he was. Hmm. But he kept go, like trying to hug me, and then I finally pushed him away. Um, favorite SNL character growing up? Uh, probably the Samurai. Uh, yeah. John Belushi was my, and then Bill Murray doing the nightclub singer. Yeah, was probably the two that I, I, I loved a lot. And it's trippy when you're there, isn't it? it you're is. in the same hall. Yeah. Like, when I when I got there, one of the things I did was uh, went through the files and started reading old scripts, old sketches. And that stuff. things had not made it, it or what things that had made it, because I wanted to see what right. how it was written, because there was no there's no training when you go to SNL. Yeah. If you don't know how to write for TV, you you learn like in the first couple of weeks. Yeah. You know. The first couple of nights, you're up till six in the morning. Yeah. And, uh, and during that time, there was no like drugs, you know. There was, that it was like a much cleaner time, so it was like it was just a lot of. It just I remember Tuesday nights always just being kind of funky up yeah. around on Seventeen, you know, yeah. people waking up in the middle of the night writing sketches. Uh, favorite SNL character you portrayed? Which, which one gave you the most? Uh, just ladies man. Ladies man was a lot of fun to perform and write. I think, but I think my favorite, the one I had the most fun doing comedically was uh, uh, Lionel Osborne. Mm -hmm. It was a show uh, called Public Perspectives. Affair. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and Lauren will put it on at the end of the show, and it was about a public affairs show that was um, so out of New York television. Yeah, there was always that cat who had the bad slot. Yeah, it's like three forty-five in the morning, and they give uh, the African American like empowerment. Public. Yes, like this is what's going on. Uh, <laughs> and it was the joke of the sketch was that he didn't talk about much, but he would always rem remember. He would always bring back the time at uh, what time the show was on. And so he would go, it's 3, 4 to 5 in the AM, and you're watching Perspectives, talking to this uh, band member from, you know, the high school. And what do you do now? I'm a band member. I play for the high school. That's great. He's a high school band member. It's 3, 4 to 7 here, and you're watching Perspectives. And, and it went on like that. Perfect. He just kept going back. Uh, I love that character. Uh, nice. Best piece of advice you ever received. Oh, Dennis, that would be one piece of advice you gave me. Well, what did I say? <laughs> Don't do perspectives. <laughs> It'll never open the show. Cut that. Well, story. that was my job was to tear everybody a new one. I remember you they did. used to send me in and oh, say, God. go light the, the new the fat kid up. One time I saw you go around the whole writer's <laughs> table. First week when I was there, you went around a writer's table and you, you just scorched everybody's sketch from the previous yeah, week. I'm sorry. It was, it was beautiful. Right. I was like, you know, making guys sing at NFL training camp. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was They'd like... they say, go light them up. But you gave me some advice when I first got there. The first week, you said something to the effect of be nice to everybody because the same people you meet going yeah. up, you're going to meet them on the way down. And, and it was... And it just... Re it was it literally the first time somebody said to me, like, here's a piece of advice, kid. Um, and I'll, I'll never forget that. Uh, rule you regret turning down. Yeah, I had an opportunity to be in Swingers, mm -hmm. which was Favreau's first movie. Yeah. And I couldn't do it because of the SNL schedule. Yeah. And so, because I knew him from Chicago. Mm -hmm. he, he worked at Second City as a, as a waiter. You'd play the, were you going to play the brother who said, always said, let's get out of here? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Whoever the black guy was in Swingers. But he had the, he would always say, it's nothing happening here, let's go. <laughs> Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.